Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. Today we've got another sneaky peek for you. And joining me in the studio is Karen. And Hello. If you don't know me, I'm Alison. <laughs> Just thought to check on that one. So what have we got for you? We know you love a sneaky peek. We know you like to see what's coming up before the show, so we've got lots to share for you. So today, we've got mail. We're in the post room and we've got mail. So we have two gorgeous die sets for you. And as you can see, they're a fair size die set. So we've got happy mail and we've got you've got mail. So I'm gonna show you these dies just for you to see how big they are and what you're getting. So we'll start off with happy mail. So this is your die set. So you can see there's lovely panels in here that you can use in your cards if, if you're a great card maker. Um, beautiful hexagons, they would make lovely backgrounds as well. But also inside, and we know you've been enjoying these. Oh, we got bits of tape as well. So you can see these have been <laughs> I think used. that's the set that Jordi used. I think it is. <laughs> <clears throat> We've got all the instructions for you. All in one piece. So you can see exactly what you're making, where everything is going to make life easier for you. So that is our little post box. So that's our happy mail. Then we've got You've Got Mail, which is more of the, the post boxes, really the vintage post boxes you would have seen. And again, a good sized die set lovely panelling in you that will work on top of your cards as well and all the instructions again so we're doing well there everything you need and sometimes i know you buy dies and you put them away and you don't use them for a while and when you come back to them you've forgotten how things go together everything is there so let's just pop those to one side when is the show on car right so it's a weekend Look at her, she's all organised. So we're launching at lunchtime, 12 o'clock on Friday. We've got another show at 6pm. And then we've got two shows on Saturday, 10.30 and 3.45. These haven't been updated on the Creative Craft website as yet, but these are the normal weekend or hours. So hopefully, hopefully they'll stick to those. Keep an eye on um, the timetable. Yeah, yeah, keep an eye on, on, on the website. <laughs> But we've got an extra show put in at 2.15 on Sunday. And then your last chance is 5.15. I don't think they're going to be there by 5.15. I don't know. I don't think they are. I, mean, I don't think so, they are. They, they're quite quirky as well, aren't they? Let's show a little bit of what we got then. I know. This is the vintage one. Go on, you go through your words first, does oh, that? Oh, shall I? Go on. Oh, I love them. I love them all. I mean, we've got some lovely paper pieces in. This is one from Vicky, um, but you've got a little slot on the top where you can either make a standing card or you've got slots that cut into this and you can put a little gift card in there. So that's good and you can just pop them. So it's a gift and a prezi in one because you can fill the box is. with fill goodies. The box with sweeties. I mean, there's Add so a gift many. card as well. There's so many different types. I mean, look at them. The panelling so is so delicate on these. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And you've got lovely wording with them. You've got mail and I think there's another one down here. Does it say something else? Let me have a little look what we got. Say. We've got love, mail. That's it. I'm reading back to front here. Yeah. This one I like. This is um, this is one of Jen's. Now, if you don't know Jen, she's uh, originally from the USA. So she's taken her um, inspiration from vintage US mailboxes. Stunning. Which is fab, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. It's just all so different. So don't think of them as just being a red mailbox. No, no indeed. I think they would be lovely in weddings. You know, if you put little messages in them or baby showers, you know, you want to leave a little message for the baby. Just pop them all in these little boxes. It's they fab. can be filed away then with all your goodies and yeah. bring them out, use, use in years time that's what I'm trying to say with all the messages and the well wishes that everybody's given mm -hmm. to your baby such a good idea they're lovely so what have I got over here I've got some quirky ideas 
So this is from Christine, and you know Christine loves a little bit of a quirky idea. This is a washing machine. <laughs> I think it's amazing. Place your here. photo here. So what a fabulous idea, and it's a little bit of a shaker as well. Yeah, shaker for your washing machine though in the front. And again, we've kind of gone through all the colours here. So we've gone very, very vintage with your browns and creams. Gorgeous with your blues and pinks. I so, love the pink. Oh, the, stunning. The, that's a kind of a summery effect on the It's lovely, there. isn't it? Wow. It's very art deco to yeah. me. Then we've got, we've got your traditional your reds and your blacks and things so we've got a little bit of traditional we've got a little bit of christmas so we've got wow. your your greens this is from liz Bunston. So that's I beautiful you've got sue in your hand there sue hardman yes right sue's done a little there's a little closure on you let me just show you so i'm going to be very gentle because we are only using paper so this opens so there's a little clasp there that opens and inside, Sue has put some lovely little tags just to put little messages on. But she's rolled up a little piece of paper to use as your closure. So I'll take that out, pop it back down, and then put your, your little stick in. So this could also be a kebab stick. Um, a lot of them are tied with ribbon, aren't they? Most are tied with ribbon, actually. But that thought that was a little bit different lovely, as well. Really nice. And there's your so card nice inside. Yeah. Then we've got another one from Christine. Oh, I love that. Look at this. And thank you, Christine's mum, for making these little blue tits. Yeah. Look at them. They are beautiful. So if, you know, your dad lives the garden or something, and we've all, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a bit of a frog there. Not a blue tit. Um, <laughs> We've all been out in the gardens more this year, and I think we've all seen the birds, we've listened to them. Anyone that's appreciating the outdoor life. So this one, we've got good luck in your new home. Oh, so that's, so cute, it? that is another fantastic idea. Thank you, Christine. And the little birdies to go with that one. Then we've got, we've got very, Mirios, this one. This is Angela. Angela. This is our Angela. Lovely and pink. Again, to me, this is a lovely baby one. Yeah. Nice little message for Fabulous. the baby. A little bib, some socks, something small in there. Yeah, and maybe gifts. a little credit uh, credit card. I say this <laughs> all the time. Sure, they love your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even got one, so I'm not good. A little gift card. So you want to give something more than a gift card. So you've got a little box with something nice in, or a little charm. Yeah. You know your little charms that you buy babies? Beautiful, beautiful. What about one of those Pandora charms yeah. or something in there? Yeah. A gift for the mummy. Yes. The, baby. the yummy mummy <laughs> and the beautiful baby. And we've gone very rose gold. Who's this one? This Shilpa. is Shilpa. And then we've gone back then to the traditional. I think that's you. Oh, I think it is too. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I make, be me. If it's no name, it's generally me. <laughs> I make them so far in advance that I forget what I've made, to be quite honest. Oh, going back to these, look at the little gift card on the back as well. Yes, I love so that. If, I love that the backs are decorated on some of them as well. So you can put your message in the front, on your little card in the front, and then you can put your credit card on the back. Yeah. Credit card, I've said it again. Gift card. Oh, Alison, what do you like? <laughs> and then the last one, we've got very lilac here. Oh, Beauty. What about some seeds or bulbs or something? Is that garden. time of year now where you're planting your bulbs ready for next year? Yeah. Do this in the colours of your bulbs. Mm. That to me is freesias uh, and crocuses Focus. and stuff like that. Very pretty. So yeah, that's our first one. There's a lot that can be done with them. I think this one's, is this one yours as well? Yeah. It might be. Yeah, the, the one with the acetate back. Yes, I wanted to that's see it. through that one. So I put a layer of acetate yeah. and then I sandwiched it with another layer of red. But I wanted so to see, see through the, the top of it. You've got the die cut. So, you know, the die cut is a, a perfect, perfectly symmetrical then, isn't it? So you can 
layering on the back it is. as well. It is. To the back end of the die cut. So our next one then, moving on. So we're going, we're going on to the post box style now. So I agree, Tamba. So we're happy mailing now. Happy mail. What have we got in your happy mail, Kat? I have got happy mail. I got sweeties in some of these as well. So I'll be good. I'll be chomping on those just yet. So you can make them into a gift box or not, as the case may be. You yeah, can choose. And you can you can have the folded card or you can keep them flat just to pop in. But they'll all fit in that way. And obviously then they'll they'll hold as well in, in the mouth of the post box. They will. So I've got I've got some nice traditional ones and some freaky ones. We love a bit of fancy. Christmassy and Sparkly. I, there's just so many of them. They're fab, aren't they? They are. This is fab. filled to the top with sweeties. So you can make them into a little gift box, as we were saying. Yes, or, you, can, you can lift the lid off, yeah. can't you? Or you can leave some. Yes, the, that's right. I was just looking for this one that the lid, lid was coming off. off as well. So you can pop something small in there and a ring. <gasps> a ring. A ring. We deliver in mail to you. Oh, I'd love to have a bit of mail delivered like that. <laughs> I don't get that off. No, I don't mean. <laughs> Bills, I guess. Mm, yeah, that's about it. Bills <laughs> and junk right. mail. Bills and junk mail, yes, indeed. It's a bit um, like my email as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But with these, they're so nice. I mean, you've got... I like, love that. Accents. Love that. Glitter accents for the, um, the snow snow effect on the top of this one around the around the base there but it's just so pretty and i mean she's just put i think this is christine isn't it it's angela i was oh. gonna say i thought it was angela oh, but i wasn't you, you've got christine's over there haven't you this is christine i knew there was one from christine with glitter accents um, and christine if you look i'm hoping you're gonna pick this up on the camera what if we go on the top cam so i can show it she's brought Oops, the snowflakes down on the side. Yeah, and that's all accents. done with glitter accents. So it she's... holds its shape, doesn't it, more it than does. crystal drops? It does. I mean, you can have glitter crystal drops, but glitter accents has got a different job, isn't it? It's it much thicker. Its, yeah, it much holds thicker. Its shape. So it's, it's, much, uh, it's much more malleable. And your drops are bigger. You can get bigger drops as well. Yeah. So very, very Beautiful. Christmas from Christine. Beautiful. Then we go in a little bit funky. I think this is, yes. Oh yeah, Karen knows Lizzie. all the names. <laughs> Karen's generally the one that unpacks them. them. Unpacks them. So again, our little happy mail. Then we've got. Sue, Hardman. Again, happy mail, but this one is very contemporary, I think. Yeah. Left the cut the patterns out, but just kept the gorgeous colours. So I'm going to move these over here a little bit. Christine, then. Oh, that is amazing. Is a tree trunk. Look at the top where she's actually got the rings of the tree trunk. And again, it's a little gift box inside. And she's decorated it with the wilderness dies. Oh, I love the wilderness adventures. It was so cute. Look at them all going round the bottom. So if you bought those, this is your perfect addition. Isn't it lovely little tree stem? It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So and you could, if you wanted to, make it shorter as well. If yes, you only wanted yeah, a did one. Down. So again, we've gone very, very bling here. I wish her bud does. Like, she loves her bling. Big. And a big flower, that should yeah, be. Like sort of I'm going to do a little bit of a swap. Yeah, so we so gone cool, very yeah. subtle with this one, very vintage. That was our, um, our sneaky peek the other day. It was. It was our sneaky peek. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, I mean, this is your wedding, this is your messages, this is... Oh, can you imagine filling them with little tags? Yes, Just and write. a little message you on each one. Have, sometimes they have a tree and they only put a wishes for the yes. room. But you could have a little post box. You can put them on every table. <gasps> One on every table. It's your there table decoration. You can pop your little messages inside. Oh, fab. You could put your favours inside. Little sweets for everyone. And they have to leave a message for you. To take their favour, yeah. I think that would be a good idea. A nice one. Angela's elongated this box. Oh, that's amazing. Open it up. 
And then we've got a lovely little bottle of wine inside then. Or drink of your choice. <laughs> Other drinks. Are Other available. drinks, definitely. <laughs> Alcoholic and non. And I think this is Shilper as well, no, is it? Oh, no, this no. is Liz. That's Liz, yeah. I was looking right. at the flowers then, Liz. That's what made me think it was Shilpa. And look at these quirky little notes here. Dear Santa, I've been good all year. Well, <laughs> apart from buying lots of tonic goodies, love Lizzie. And then she's got Santa Claus, North Pole, SC25, 1NP. Um, we haven't got a post. With that is... She's got the Let It Snow as well on that's the front. Right, that was from the one of our Christmas launches this year. It was. So that's nice to know that they they work together. They fit. They fit yeah, inside. Very nice. I've got a nice contemporary one from Jen here, and it's got fab, fab little cards. I mean, with this this traditional one over to one side here. I mean, look at the colours on these. These are amazing. That's a really almost hard to see. That is to me. <laughs> That's a challenge for you now. We need a TARDIS. We need a TARDIS, yeah. But again, lovely box inside. Beautiful. And the slit. I mean, you don't have to cut this slit in. I mean, as it shows on Angela's no. uh, big wine box there. She's just elongated yeah. there. But you've got a plain panel in the back. So if you just wanted it as a box with no slit, just cut all your panels with the long panels mm -hmm. and leave the front slit out. It's hard, isn't it? It's so good. And like I say, you can have them so quirky and for the sweets and lovely. And then this one, this one is sealed and it's just got the top open. I think this one is your packaging one. It could well be. Um, it could well be. Yeah, I think so. Victory one for Happy Mail. And your other ones over there? And my arms are too short. And that's one. <laughs> <laughs> so again, you know, if you've got lovely pattern papers, add them in. Definitely. Well, we hope you've enjoyed just our sneaky peek for you. And join us on Friday. Friday at 12 o'clock. Happy crafting. Bye. Bye. Bye.